Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to be learning how to crochet the crossed clusters stitch. And uh, this is a wonderful crochet stitch to work. It's a beautiful solid fabric uh, with a little bit of texture to it and a fairly neat, unique looking design. I'm really, really enjoying it. So this, it, it's fairly similar on both sides. This is my front side and then the back side. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be using an acrylic yarn. This is the basic stitch by Lion Brand Anti Pilling Yarn. It's a worsted weight yarn, uh, super soft. I'm going to be using a little bit of that as well as a 5 millimeter or an H8 crochet hook. You'll find free written instructions for this crochet stitch for the crossed cluster stitch on my website at richtexturescrochet.com and there's a direct link for you down in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me and while you're here I invite you to take a look around. Don't forget to subscribe. This channel is updated every single week with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Now our stitch today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by working a foundation chain. You'll make a slip knot and then work a foundation chain and for your foundation chain today you're going to need a multiple of three stitches plus two. So today I'm simply going to work 20 chains. and 20. Once you've worked your foundation chain the desired length you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then work a single crochet into each chain all the way across. Now you'll notice I am working into the back bumps of my foundation chain. For this stitch pattern it really doesn't matter so you can work under whatever loop you feel comfortable with. But you'll just want a single crochet in that second chain from your hook and then in each stitch all the way across. Once you come all the way across at the end of row one, you're going to chain three and this counts as a double crochet stitch here and throughout. You're then going to turn your work. Now for row two, we're going to skip the next single crochet and work a cluster stitch into our next stitch. To do that, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, into that next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook. You're going to do that again into the same stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You have three loops remaining on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. You're then going to work over your cluster stitch just made and work another cluster stitch into that previous skipped stitch. So yarn over, bring your hook back in front of your work, insert it into that previous skipped stitch, yarn over again and draw up a loop. You'll want to pull it up to about the height of your double crochet stitch. Yarn over and pull through two loops and do that one more time into the same stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, three loops left on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's your first crossed cluster. You're then simply going to work a double crochet into the next stitch. We're now going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next stitch and work a cluster stitch into your next. Now working around that cluster stitch just made, work another cluster stitch in the previous skipped stitch. Now 
and double crochet into your next stitch. Repeat that all the way across. When you come all the way across at the end of your row two, you're going to finish off the row with a double crochet into that final stitch. You can then chain one and turn your work. Now for row three, you're simply going to work a single crochet into that first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. And then single crochet into each stitch all the way across. You're working your single crochets into the tops of each cluster stitch and each double crochet all the way across until you come to that final stitch which is that turning chain three and don't forget to work into the top of the turning chain three as it counts as a double crochet stitch at the end of row three chain three which counts as a double crochet and turn your work. Now for the rest of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat your rows two and three. So repeat that crossed cluster row followed by that row of single crochet stitches for as long as you would like, then fasten off, weave in your ends, and that is all there is to working the crossed cluster stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. If you happen to make something with this stitch and share it on social media, uh, do be sure to tag Rich Textures Crochet. I always come by, love to come by to uh, admire your work. If you have any thoughts on how you might want to use this stitch in a crochet pattern, be sure to leave it down in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.